Okay, good evening, brethren. I just have an interruption again. There's the devil again. I mean, see, when you're saved, the devil is a nuisance to you. Okay? When you're unsaved, he's your father. He doesn't have power over you. When you're saved, he has no power over you. He just crashed my computer and I went off in the hour saying really good things. But don't worry. <laughs> you can, the devil's just annoying. He'll tell me what to say here. And I'm probably make it even better than the first one. So this is take two. What's the point of discussion here? The the point of discussion. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk about stay in line. With what I want to talk about. Two things I want to talk about here. Uh, for for first of all, for those people that didn't watch my videos, you're in a simulation, whether you believe it or not. Everyone, you're the universe. Remember, universe is not God. He created it. You're God-like. You're the universe. And whoever you look into their eyes, you're looking at yourself, experiencing itself to another person. That's her heresy. Well, God the Father made Jesus Christ so he can experience himself as a man. He also made the Holy Ghost so he can experience himself as me. Because the Holy Ghost isn't me. Are you saying you're God? No. Don't tell me I'm not influenced by God. Well, that makes you godlike. Absolutely. There we go. I didn't say that in the previous video. The devil can. Come on. He can crash this thing ten times. It'll be better, 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 better. Negativity to a Christian should be energy. That's why 50 Cent said in one of his songs, I need you to hate me because I need your energy. Even He's unsafe. He knows what I'm talking about. When someone's negative to you, thank you. Higher reward. He cussed at me. I didn't cuss back. That's a reward. He slapped me. I I, I stand my ground. He wasn't going to kill me, so let it be that. I'll defend myself, but I moved on. God will give me a reward. But I don't want to stay off track. Yeah, you're, you're the universe. You're the part of the universe, but also the whole in itself. God the Father is the whole. He makes up. Jesus Christ is part of the Godhead, but he is the Godhead. The Holy Ghost is part of the Godhead, but he is the Godhead. You're part of the universe. You are the universe. It's not a drop of the ocean. It's ocean and drop. So I'm going to do I'm going to get I tackle that from both both angles, from the biblical angle and the scientific angle, which is that that is true. Second point of discussion. I'm going to scientifically say you are the church of God, scientifically speaking. But in a way, I want to cite some scripture. I want to try to stay on those two points. Hopefully this won't crash. That's why I'm checking the time. It won't crash. It crashed last time. And I went hour. You're saying you're the universe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're saying everyone I encounter, everyone I look in their eyes, eyes, is the wind to, eyes are the window to the soul. Eyes are the window to the soul. Everyone that I look at, that's me experiencing myself as that person. Absolutely. That's a scientific fact. That's a biblical fact. Don't worry, I prove it on both ends. Well, I prove that's a science fact. I can't prove it anymore. That's what science says. And quantum physicist says, yeah, you're the universe. You're experiencing yourself. There's no out there. It's in here. Everything's in your head. You're in your head. Just like the people in Inception. They were in each other's, they were in each other's head. Inception. But what does the Bible say? Well, when Adam sinned, we all sinned. What? I didn't, in the days of Adam, I wasn't around. Really? I just told you, you're a spirit. You wasn't born, and you, you can't die. You were created. You was in Adam's loins. You was a fruit of Adam's loins. When he committed that sin, mankind sinned. Does that make more sense? So what you're saying, the Godhead is one God, three separate people, beings. Mankind, seven billion people on earth. But it's really one man. We all coming from one man, Adam. We all the son of Adam, if you're unsaved. If you're saved, you're the son of God. So, yeah, that's a scientific and biblical fact. That's, a, that's why this is called biblical science. It's a biblical scientific fact. You are the universe. When you look at someone, you're looking at yourself. That's what the Bible says. 
love your neighbor as you love yourself because that is you. Bill Hicks says that in the stand-up. You're crazy. What? Why is Bill Hicks saying that? Maybe that's why they killed him. Shut him up. Can't have guys saying we live in a simulation. Kill him. That's what he said in the stand-up. Shut him up. He's saying it's just a ride. No, we got to make people believe this is real. They're in the Jesuit Matrix. Shut them up. We invested a lot into this Matrix, making people believe what they're seeing. Seeing what they believe. Well, they don't even know which one's which. Shut that guy up. They did shut him up. Bill Hicks said that. Look up Bill Hicks. We're all, okay, yeah, we, we're all, in, 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 we're all, we're the universe experienced itself as 7 billion people in the planet or whatever it was at his time when he was alive. Yeah, that's true. And there's no solidity, there's no matter, there's no hardness. It's just you experiencing that through your body. That's what he says, Bill Hicks. But anyways, yeah, that's a scientific fact. And a biblical fact. Biblical science fact. So you can't run away. You are the universe. Experience itself. Why do you think God wants you to love your enemies? Pray for them. Because it's you. Why does God doesn't want you to persecute your enemies? Because it's you. It's you experience yourself. Remember Malcolm X at the end of the movie? When they say, I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. Well, of course they're Malcolm X. Literally. Of course they're Malcolm X. I'm Robert Downey Jr. I'm uh, Bill Clinton. We're all, this, we're all made out of the same stuff, man. But no, Bill Clinton is Bill Clinton. Yeah. Jesus Christ is Jesus Christ. But isn't he God too? Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost, yeah, separate. But isn't he like God the Father because they're the same? Me and the Father are one. You seen me, you seen the Father. I'm Robert Downey Jr. I'm Bill Clinton. Literally, scientific fact. Making sense? Yeah, you're, you're the universe experience, experiencing itself. As a man, and when you look at someone else, experience with them, that that's the universe experience itself as that person. God didn't tell me that. Oh, read the Bible. Find the truth. The truth is out there. X Files is coming. X Files fans, January. Find the truth. The Holy Ghost will guide you to all truth. Why would God say treat everybody like it was you? Because it is you. How, I mean, this only needs to be an hour. How simple could that be? The Bible, I'm talking to saved believers. Unsaved people don't believe the Bible. Saved Bible believers. Treat one another as if it was you. Well, scientifically speaking, it is you. Science is saying that. I don't I don't get that. Well, well, I said, when you look at, when someone comes into this room, my room, this door, they're coming into my mind. Only people that understand inception knows what I'm talking about. In the church, remember, I'm God's building. That's what I'm going to talk about next. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for enabling Satan for crashing my video. I know I can make this short now to the point. In Jesus' name, amen. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, it's probably because I slur. I told God, create, you know, make me speak clearly because I like the, that's the animal in me, that sinful nature, but slurring. Uh, yeah, when someone steps into this, step into this room of my mind, this door, there's the door, Jesus Christ is the door, literal door, no, he's talking figuratively, use some common sense, I don't have common sense, get saved, and then you'll really have common sense, they enter in my mind, and I'm in their mind, from, from their perception, from, from their, their eyes, I'm in their head. From my eyes, they're in my head. Depending on who's saved, they're in church. So if my mother comes into the door, she's not saved. But she's in church. I'm the body of Christ. Did I come from my mother? Isn't my mother me? Maybe this makes more sense. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Isn't my mother me? Didn't I come from my mother? Aren't me and my mother the same? I came from her. So you're your mother. Well, yes, but just like Jesus Christ is God, he was also Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm the son of my mother, my biological mother, but I'm also me. 
at the same time, that's impossible. Was in God impossible? <laughs> my father. They say I look like my father. Right? You look to the spirit image of his father. He looks like, yeah, I am my father. But uh, aren't we the same thing, though? Aren't we equal but separate? Yeah. But does that mean I? this is my house, I give out the rules? No, because he's my father. I obey. Chain of command. I'm like the Holy Ghost. I'm like the Holy Ghost in this Godhead. I do the will of the Father and the Son. Do you know the children of the family is really can be considered to be the Holy Ghost? What does the Holy Ghost do? It does the will of the Father and the Son. In this case, the Son is the wife. Holy Ghost is God is in motion. So yeah, you are the universe. I mean, I can't exp I, like like sign like uh, Einstein said that, that I, I that's the sinful nature. God deliver me from this depraved flesh. I can't wait to get into my glorified body. When you're in your glorified body, you're not gonna be slurring. You're gonna be talking like Jesus did. Did Jesus Christ? Uh, mm, I wasn't sure. No, he talked. Just like as you typing. Like a guy that really knows how to type, no mistakes. Yeah, that's how you're going to be in your glorified body. I'm, un I'm totally depraved. Uh, yeah, the Holy Ghost can be considered as the children of the family. He, doesn't he do, isn't he supposed to do what his mother and father tell him? Isn't the Holy Ghost supposed to do what the father and the son tell him? So... Like I said before, Einstein said, if you can't explain this simply, simple to a child, you don't know it. Well, I don't understand it. But that's your problem. This is the best way I, I'm using to the Holy Ghost. This is the best way I can explain it to you. A, a saved Christian with strong spiritual discernment, it's just 12 minutes into the video, knows what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to move on. <clears throat> Rewind it if you need more explanation. Rewind it again. This is why this is recording. Rewind it. Excuse me. <clears throat> go. I have to go to church. These chapel people, these self-righteous people. You have to go to church. Well, do you even know what you're talking about? You are a church. You're God's building. That's what the Bible says. You go to chapel. The people in that chapel is the church. I'm in church right now. Whoever's, whoever's listening to me, watching this video, it, you are in the church of God. You are in a holy place. Are you smoking while you're listening to me? Is your tattoo showing? Are you fornicating? I don't know. Are you watching a pornography video on your phone while watching me? You're in church. I'm clean shaven, right? Not totally. You see any tattoos? It's covered. Because I know you're in church. I'm a living testimony, living sacrifice. I'm a testimony for Jesus Christ. That's why I'm not going to show with a, with a, with a mohawk. With the piercing, because this body is the body of Christ. You're in the body of Christ. You're in my head right now. I'm in your head. We're in each other's head. That makes no sense. What, what is Inception about? But that's just a movie. Bill Cooper said movies make fact look like fiction. That's what he said. Of course he said it. That's why the Jesuits had to kill him. Can't him talk. We can't have this Bill Cooper saying these movies are the devil's bragging. Yeah, shut him up. Get these cops here, shoot them down. Was he saved? I don't know. I'm, I don't know his heart. Uh, but I tell you this: if if he was of God, he God would not let the devil kill him. God, I ain't gonna die until God says so. Do you know an engine can fall? Do you know this? I, I, I'm glad God put this on my heart to talk about this. Thanks, Father, Father in Jesus' name, Amen. Do, do you know that you've been programmed to think that physically you're in, you're invincible? Yeah, it's a hell, but. I feel great. I feel I can live forever. That's why all these movies are programming you selfless. Of these people extending their lives. Wolverine. The guy stealing Wolverine's healing power so he can live forever. Of course. Because they know they're going to hell. So you got to live forever. This nut, nut job. This atheist freezing himself so he can live forever. No. A jet engine can fall right now. Crush me. Do you know that? I can drop dead right now. God can stop my heart. I had that once when I was sleeping. I couldn't breathe. You're a breath of God. Well, scientifically speaking, you're a breath of God. 
You're made out of his breath. 99.9 .9 free space, that vibration of energy is God's word. It's just a breath of God. You're a drop in the you're a drop like it was like I pour water on this desk and I go like this to the drop. That's what you are to God. Your life, your physical life. Here today, gone tomorrow. But anyways, you uh you seven day Adventist. If you don't go to if you don't go to chapel on, because it's not church, don't tell me what it is. It's chapel that tells you you're not saved. If you go to, if you don't go to chapel on a Sunday, you're not saved. Well, you don't, you can't even get your Sabbath right. You go, you're supposed to go. First of all, that that commandment doesn't apply to me. I'm not Jewish, but if I was Jewish, I would know to go to on a Saturday, not a Sunday, because the Jesuits switched calendars on us. The Julian calendar, the Sabbath day was a Saturday. The Pope's Gregorian calendar, which we're under now, now the Sabbath day is a Sunday. Well, we got to worship the sun, the S-U-N. We're sun worshipers, remember? Oh, you're saying worship on a Sunday is satanic. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that's why they switched the, the calendars on us. Sunday. The Romans back in the day used to burn Christians at the stake, stake on a Sunday. So you, so you can celebrate with them. Remember, ignorance in itself is sin. Just by you not knowing that, it's sin. See how it is easy to sin? Sin through ignorance? Well, yeah, you seven-day Adventists. God's guiding me. This go as long as it wants. God's choosing my words. He's telling me what. He's not talking. He's influencing me on what to say. He's dictating. He's saying, hey, say this, say that, say it. I don't hear it. I hear it in my thoughts. He's not talking like audibly. Uh, seven day Adventist. So you got your Sabbath days messed up. Oh, I have to do that to get saved? Have to? Well, that means that's work salvation. That's correct. That means you can do it on your own. That's correct. That, I'm talking to a seven day Adventist. Well, the Bible says the letter killeth. You abide by the spirit, by the law. Well, that's correct. Do you know what they used to do? Or if you're under the law, that means you follow Exodus. You know what they used to do to people that didn't obey the Sabbath? What? Put them to death. Are you putting people to death? Well, no. Then why are you saying I have to do it? I'm I'm not Jewish. You're not Jewish. You don't have to obey the Sabbath. Even Jewish don't really don't have to obey the Sabbath. Okay? It's not obedience with a Jew. He wants to do it. He's guided by the Holy Ghost if he's saved. But I'm a Gentile. I don't have to obey the Sabbath. I would, why? I'm in church every day, even when I'm sleeping. Remember, I'm the church. Whoever I interact with, they're in church right now. So yeah, when you're not saved, you're under by the law. Remember, God does not send you to hell. You go there on your own because you go on your own self-righteousness. Not on the righteousness imputed by the Son, S-O-N, Jesus Christ. So you think you go to heaven by your own? Okay. Obey all, every one of these laws. Good luck. It's impossible because only a man God, a human, can abide by them. Don't worry, I can abide these Ten Commandments. Really? Go ahead. Wait a minute. It's just, this is impossible because I read my Bible. If I just lust at a woman, just look at her. I sin. That's right. I cheat when I'm in school. I look at another test scores. I stole. That's right. I told a little white lie. I said uh, I was going to the supermarket, but I went to, I went to the video store to rent some, rent some porn. That's right. You sinned already. Is that easy? No, it's easier than that. I just told you if you was going to wear what, ju what I just said, you you sinned already. You see why you need? It's God's law, so only God can obey it. Man cannot obey God's law. God's law can only be obeyed by man. And that man was Christ Jesus. He fulfilled the law. He didn't destroy it. And he imputed that righteousness as if you did it. When he really do it, he gave you that free gift of salvation in blood on a check. He wrote that check. He wrote. He gave me my check. Paid. Okay. What's the address on the check? It's New Jerusalem. That's where you're going. That's my ticket. Paid to the order of how much? Well, it's infinite. Infinite sin debt can only get paid by infinite grace. That's in the amount. Infinite sign. How did he, how did he sign it? In blood, the cross, Jesus Christ. But I have to endorse it. You can't use a check without endorsing it. You can't go to heaven without endorsing it. Look at my check. Yeah, I endorsed it. I'm saved. Done deal. Done deal. No, I'm not doubting. 
But even if I doubt, if I yield, no, I'm saved. I know what he's saying. I'm a heretic. I'm saved. Now, don't listen to him. You're saved. Yeah, I know. You have to know. So, yeah. It's either grace or law. If you can go in, if whoever does not accept Jesus Christ, then you're saying, I can obey the Bible by the law. Good luck. Morgan Freeman said that to the guy when he said, I know who Batman was. You, you're going to go ahead and intimidate this man? Good luck. You're going to try to go to he heaven or you're going to hell. See why my natural response is to go to hell? Go to hell. Oh, that's offensive. I thought hell doesn't exist. If here's plain and simple to Christ deniers, that's the only unpardonable sin. But all blaspheme for the Holy Ghost. That's for the Jews. Read your Bible. That's not for you. That's for the Jews in the millennial kingdom. That's really for anyone that sees Christ in the flesh. That's when he's on earth. Blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. That was for the Pharisees. Not for you. Not for this right now. When he said, You got a, the spirit of the devil in you, he blasphemed. He can't be forgiven. And that's going to be for him when he comes in the millennial kingdom. When you physically see him, you blaspheme him because he got the Holy Ghost in him. You sin, you can't be forgiven. But it doesn't apply to me. Remember, dispensation, divide the word of truth. The Bible does not, does not apply to you in every sense of the age. Dispensation means age, different ages. Read your Bible. Thoroughly abide by the word. Study, rightly dividing the, the word of truth. <clears throat> so, yeah. Christ deniers. You can't be forgiven for that. If you, if you die in your sins. Because you got to obey the law. He who, do, who goes by the law shall die by the law. He who shall go by grace shall be saved by grace. What grace? The grace from Jesus Christ. So here's what a self-righteous person is saying. Whether he knows it or not. I can follow the Bible. Literally. Obey every commandment. Which are more than ten. I won't get into that. You figure it out yourself. There are more than just Ten Commandments for a Christian, New Testament Christian. I gave you a clue. New Testament Christian. You can obey everything the Bible says on your own. So go to heaven. That's what you're saying. It's easy. Oh, but keep in mind, God wrote this book. I know, I know. I can I'm self-righteous. I can obey the Bible. I just told you how easy it is to sin. You look at a woman with lust in your heart, you sinned. You steal a candy from a store. What little candy? You sinned. You told a little white lie. You sinned. Uh, you did not receive instruction from me, a priest. You sinned. I can tell you. How can you sin, infinite? Well, maybe you, there's, there's no limit to how you can sin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, that would require an infinite sin. An infinite that will require God to obey that law. Absolutely, God is infinite. God the Father said, "My law is impossible for a man to." Uh, God's like this. Hmm. Think of God as a person. Because God the Father is. Hmm. Adam just sinned. Now I didn't purpose him to sin. He sinned on his own. How am I going to bruise thy heel of Satan? I know. Remember, God's simple. He sinned, that means the whole race sinned. They're going to go to hell. If I was a fair God, it would be going to hell right now. But I'm not fair. I'm above generosity. I'll be talking about that next. I'm going to appear as a man and follow my own laws. Because God the Father is just like God the Son. If you see me, you've seen the Father. And I'm going to reconcile the world. I'm propitiated. I'm satisfied. But hold on, that doesn't mean everyone's saved. That means that they have the opportunity for everyone to be saved. But I did this specific, specifically for my elect, the person. I, mean, I have foreknowledge. I'm talking like I'm God the Father. I have foreknowledge. I know who's going to be saved. But it's for everybody. This gift is for everyone, but I know who's going to accept it. That's what God's saying. The body of Christ. I know who's going to accept this gift. So I'm going to make Jesus Christ the Son. And I'm going to make him obey me. He's going to be a servant. All these miracles he's doing. People think it's really him, although he can do it in his own will, but he's a servant. He's going to put faith in me, God the Father, to do those miracles. I walk it, I'm walking. So you're saying all those miracles are not Jesus Christ? That's what I'm saying. That's him trusting the Father to walk on water. That's him trusting the Father to make water into wine. He's not doing it in his own will. Or he can, 
but he's doing it the will of the Father. Not my will, but your will be done, Father. And he's going to die. He's going to become sin. This is, this is the Bible, simple as simple as I can explain it. He's going to become sin. Remember, truth is simple. Mankind makes it difficult. He's going to become sin, the thing I hate. Why do I hate it? Because it's sin that kills Jesus Christ, not the Romans and the Jews. So he's going to become what? So he's going to become the thing that he hates? That's the reason why he exists? Yeah. And I'm going to forsake him. He's going to go to the cross, pay for every sin. Here's why you shouldn't sin. Say, believers, think of it this. When you say a lie, knowingly or unknowingly, that's a nail in his hand. When you fornicate, that's a nail in his foot. When you're constantly saying his name is vain, that's them flogging him. Think of it like that. Remember, there's no such thing as time. There's no past and future. So I'm in right now, I'm in the present. I say a lie. So you're saying in the past there, remember, God views time, past, present, and future as if it was one. Yep. Wow, that doesn't make me want to sin. Exactly. That makes me want to hate sin. Exactly. So yeah, I'm going to make him go to the cross. Die for the sins of mankind. Okay, he fulfilled the law. Make sure he was sinless. Yes, he was sinless. Wow. He obeyed the law. Well, of course he is. He's me and I am him. He's my son, my only begotten son. Of course, I know he's going to fulfill the law. Now, any sinful, wretched creature, as long as he accepts my son, can be saved. But I know it's for everyone, but I don't know only certain people are going to get saved. Why? Because I'm God. I know who's going to be saved before time was created, before the earth and the universe was created. I know who's going to be saved, but it's for everyone because I love the world. I'm generous. And... I'll use these Ten Commandments as my schoolmaster. The Ten Commandments is not to... Here's what the purpose of the Ten Commandments. It is not to get you saved. It's not for you to obey it. It's proof to say that you cannot fulfill the law. Okay? He who obeys the law will die. The letter killeth. The commandments is a checklist. It's God's way of saying, you want to go to heaven on your own will? Okay. Forget the other commandments, because it's more than just ten. You can't even follow these ten commandments. And I'll tell you what. I'll give you ten times to with a clean slate. Oh, I lied. Give me a clean slate, God. Okay, no problem. One. I fornicated in my mind. Two. Uh, <laughs> I cheated off of someone else's test. Three. Forget ten. I can give you a billion chances. Clean slate. What I mean by clean slate. Like, you sin. I'll give you a clean slate. I'll give you a do-over. Like in Madden. Madden used to be a do-over. I'll give you a do-over. No. Impossible. Can't please God in the flesh. In my flesh dwelleth no good thing. Take my son. What have you done with my son? He who has my son has life. Take this check here. Here. This is God the Father. Remember, God the Father draws you to the son. No one comes to me. This is what Jesus said. No one comes to me unless my father draws him. Unsaved people hate God. They want nothing to do with him. When you're saved, you seek God. He seeks you in your unsaved state. You seek him. So I'm talking to a saved, unsaved person. He's seeking you. He's, he's, he's waving that check. How do you use a check? Well, funny. You can't cash a check unless you endorse it. I give you a check for a million dollars. And you did nothing to earn it. Are you going to brag about it? No. But there's a problem, though. You got to endorse a check. Yeah, I do got to endorse a check. Is that a work? No. Is that something you got to accept? Yep. Endorsing the check is accepting Jesus Christ. I got my check. It says, New Jerusalem, paid in blood, infinite righteousness. For those spiritual people, you see my check? I don't see a check. This guy's crazy. See, it says, New Jerusalem. That's where I'm going. Paid to the order of infinite. Because it's infinite righteousness. See his name right there? It's signed in blood. Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach was his, his... He's not American. He's his Jewish name. I'll get to that next. You didn't endorse it. Turn it around. I endorsed it. I'm good. I die right now. I go to heaven to be with my father. 
absent from the body is present with the Lord. Do you have your check endorsed? Yeah, I have my check. Make sure it's not a check of yourself. Well, you're right. This check is on my own righteousness because it's not infinite. And I signed it myself on the front saying, yeah, I can go to heaven on my own righteousness. I have a check. Okay, yeah, written in the blood of Christ. New Jerusalem, infinite. You haven't endorsed it yet, though. Accept Jesus first. Endorse it, man. You're almost there. Endorse it. Don't worry. I'm a Christ-like prophet. I'll, 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 condi I'll convict you. I'll condemn you. Because that's what my father wants to do. To sign that check on the back. So he can use it in the New Jerusalem. So yeah, that's what he's saying. Salvation is simple. It's just hard. The devil made it hard to realize it's so simple. Truth is simple. Mankind makes it difficult. Mankind controlled by the devil, God of this world. So yeah, let's uh, let's talk about uh, Jesus Christ. There's people saying, "Don't call me Yeshua." Well, is Jesus Christ an American? <clears throat> is Jesus Christ a Roman? Well, to Romans he is. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about because I used to be a Roman Catholic. Is it a sin to call him Jesus Christ? No. But let's take it for me, for example. My name is Emmanuel Fernandez. That's my government name. But my mother does not call me Emmanuel Fernandez. She calls me Manu. That's my, my name for my Cape Verdean roots. So, oh, Christ doesn't matter. I don't care if you call me Emmanuel or Manu. But I don't know. She's my mother because she calls me Manu. Ah, uh, yes, he calls me Jesus Christ. But he's, he's one of me. He's flesh of my flesh, bones of my bones. Because my name is Yeshua HaMashiach. I'm a Jew. I'm a racist. Remember? So don't tell me don't I can't call him Yeshua HaMashiach. That's his name. But he's Jesus Christ. Yes, he is. I'm Emmanuel Fernandez, but I'm also Manu. But who calls you what? Well, people out in the world calls me Emmanuel Fernandez. But my own family, my father, does not call me Emmanuel. Emmanuel. It'll feel weird if he calls me Emmanuel. I'm your son. Call me Manu. I'm Cape Verdean. Is it sinking in? Am I saying body of Christ should call Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach? No. You can call him Jesus Christ, your body of Christ. But those who really knows him, knows, ah, he's saying my name. He knows I'm not an American or a Roman. Yeshua HaMashiach is his Jewish name. Here's why it's good to call him Yeshua HaMashiach. If I'm talking to a Jew and I don't know my true history, and I'm Jewish. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. I'm a Jew. I'm talking from perspective of you. Don't, don't say that word. I've been, I've been crucified. My family died in the name of that word. Well, that's the Roman, Roman God, Jesus Christ. Well, well, then call him Yeshua Hamashiach. Then divide the word of truth. It's the same thing. Well, yeah. Well, it depends how you use it. I'm talking about Jews. Yeah, you go to Jew in Jerusalem. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing you. You see how the devil is. He talk to you about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No. He's going to think it's, you're talking about the Roman one, even though you're not. doesn't matter. You use that term. I know if I'm going to evangelize to a Jew, unsaved Jew, I'm not going to say Jesus Christ. And no one talks about this. His name is Yeshua, Joshua, Hamashiach. That's, that's it. If it, if it. I don't know if it had birth certificates back in the day. probably did. That's the name of his birth certificate. His birth, when he was born, his physical body, was he... You think I don't know if they had served birth certificates back in the day. You think it's Jesus Christ? No, no one no, called him Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the Jews at that time. It's Yeshua Hamashiach. Don't tell me that's a sin. Read your Bible. Yeshua Hamashiach. That's his Jewish name. That's his real name. Manu is my real name. My government name is Manuel Fernandez. That's what's on my driver's license. It's not Manu. That's not a sin. Just be aware of it, though. That is a sin. So, yeah, talk about the name. And, like I said, you're the body of Christ. You're, the, you're God's building. Everywhere I go is a church. I go to the aquarium. That's a church. Whoever interacts with me, they are me and I am them. They're in church. Let's end with this before uh, the devil crashes it again. Uh, God is uh, unfair God. God is fair. God is generous. He's not even generous. His grace is limitless. Put it to the fire. Okay, I will. <clears throat> Timothy. God, give me strength. I'm losing my voice here. 
Jesus name, amen. Uh, Timothy, you know what? You should you should be content. Content means joyful. That doesn't mean happy. Happy means you need more, more, more. Joyful means you have that. You it's cool. I'm joyful because I have my salvation. I'm cool. Uh, God says, you know what God says to be content with? That you should be content with? Food and clothing. So if you have more than food and clothing, technically speaking, God has blessed you. I thought I was poor. No, I'm rich. I have the Bible. Bible said, Bi the Bible didn't even say Bible. The Bible said food and clothing. So you have the Bible. You're rich. Just the Bible. Food, clothing, Bible. Three. Food, clothing, Bible. That's not a three six sign. Food, clothe, bi food, clothing, and Bible. You're rich. No. Do you know how many people died to have a Bible in their hands? Wyndham Tyndale, Knox, Calvin. You know the hell, the little hell they had to go through to print the Bible. People burned at the stake. The Inquisition was all about people reading the Bible. I don't know what. I don't care what the history textbooks say. The Inquisition was because of people reading the Bible. The Roman Catholics can't have that. You got to follow our Bible. Really? A Christian's most valuable possession, first of all, is the Bible. Why? Because it gets them saved. Two. Bible. One. Salvation. Two. The blessed hope. Three. You have that. You're richer than Bill Gates. Salvation, Bible, blessed hope, the Godhead. If you have that, you're richer than Bill Gates. You're richer than all these wicked sinners going to hell. You're richer even even more than the people you think are rich, that that are richer more. You're richer more than the people that are real rich. Shh. You ever heard of the Aldo Brandinis, the Borges, the Contis, the Colonas? They're the giga trillionaires. They're the ten Roman Catholic families. They can buy ten Earths. They're the ones that the popes come from. You're richer than them if you have salvation, blessed hope, and the Bible. Don't tell me you're poor. You have food in your stomach and clothes on your back and the Bible. Or if you have food, well, according to the Bible, forget even the Bible. Stomach, you have, you have, you have food in your stomach and you have clothes on your back. You should be content. Just that. The best thing in life are free. You can get the Bible anywhere. Don't tell me you can't get the Bible anywhere. Anywhere. Go online. Get the Bible. I think it's av1611.org. Download it there in any language you want. The King James Bible. Best thing is life are free. The best things in life are free. The Bible. Bible needs it first. And then you get saved. And then the blessed hope. The Trinity. That's a Roman word. But the Godhead. Anything more? Really? God's God's not limitedly generous? Anything more? You should be blessing God. You should be thanking God because he blessed you. Am I outside right now? No. What am I filming on? A computer. Wow, man, you're rich in terms of material possession. You better believe it. I don't have a car, but at least I got a roof over my head. The Bible says that's a blessing. TV, a blessing. Computer, a blessing. Phone, blessing. Doesn't the Bible say, thank God, thank God, I thank God? A lot more commandments than just ten for New Testament Christians. Do your homework. Pray without ceasing. That sounds like a commandment. It is. Rejoice evermore. That sounds like a commandment. Quench not the spirit. See, the Bible's simple. I know some. it's hard to memorize some things, but there's some words that are just one line. It's easy to memorize. I come in peace, but when I speak, it's meant for war. Well, he says Bible memorization is important. These, some of these verses are four lines. Yes, they are. Some are very simple. If you see me, you see the Father. No one comes to the Father but my me. But you're not saying the, the whole thing. I'm saying, I'm saying half is enough to make my point. Pray without ceasing. That's, that's the whole thing. Rejoice evermore. Quench not the spirit. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I think that's verbatim. I'm talking about the quotes I know verbatim, word for word. 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. That's verbatim. First Adam was formed and now Eve. You need to memorize the Bible because when sin thoughts come in your head, you say it out loud or in your head, they go. Because sin is darkness. Light and darkness can't exist. Bible memorization, very important. So God is limitless. His grace is limitless. Remember I told you about focus? Uh, when Will Smith told you about the primers, I'm not going to talk about it. Watch my ministry. I'm not repeating anything. There's primers everywhere. There's primers from God and from the devil. What are primers? If you're of the devil, there's primers for you to not to listen to me right now. If you're of God, there's primers everywhere telling you, you better listen to what I'm saying. How do I know? Read the Bible. King James Bible. That's your sword of the spirit. That's your... If you're not saved, you're not saved. This is your most valuable possession, not the phone. The King James Bible is on it's an app. Why? Because pretty soon the Bible is gonna be illegal. And if they caught you with the Bible in your hand, you're dead. That's why. So I put it on an app. Oh, I don't have a Bible, me remove it. See no Bible on here. Just stop. planting seeds. If you're unsaved, your most important possession is not your car because you don't own it. Not your house because you don't own it. Not your money because it's not real money. If you're unsaved, your most important possession is your King James Bible. Period. Not your physical life because you can die any moment. If you're saved, you have three possessions. Your salvation. Why? Because of the Bible and the blessed hope because you can come any moment. Those are possessions. Valuable possessions. The things that you can't see are spiritual. They're everlasting. The things you can see are temporal. They're going to burn. Set your affections on heaven, not on earth. So I won't go on because the devil's a trickster. You're praying so he's going to make me crash. My sinful flesh, it's time to eat. <laughs> the spirit is willing. The flesh is weak, which means I can do this infinite. I can go until the earth ends. But my flesh is weak, though. God's like, okay, son, you, he's patting me on the back right now. Good job. You said what you want to say. You didn't say it too long. Wrap up with this, though. Uh, this is the last days, okay? I'm not talking to saved people. I'm talking to unsaved people. Be really sure that the check you're gonna have a check. There's three different types of th three different types of check. I'll end with this. There are three different types of checks. Make sure you have the right one. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. There's three different types. Or you just fit in that really. There are three different types of checks. Make sure you have the right one. I have the right one. What is the right one? The right one is Remember, they all look the same. <laughs> It says New Jerusalem on the front. Pay to the order of, what's the amount? Infinite. Infinite sign. Infinite righteousness pays infinite sin debt. Who signed it? Who gave you those funds? Well, it's not funds. It's righteousness. It's imputed. It's Jesus Christ. See, it's written in blood. On the back. Is it endorsed? It's endorsed. Our ticket, ticket's punched in. Done deal. Well, you, you say money's fake, but this is righteousness. This is actually real. Things you think are fake are more real than this fake money. Righteousness is real. It's not gonna go, it's not gonna devalue, you, it's not gonna crash, it's not gonna hyperinflate. I'm good. What are the other two ones? The other one is a self-righteous check. I can do it on my own. I'm a self-righteous person. I got my check. Here's my check. A billion dollars. Whoa, that's a lot of money. That money is works though. Think of it as works. Who signed it? Me. I'm self-righteous. Okay, you're not, you're not letting Jesus Christ pay infinite. You're trying to pay a billion dollars of good works with. You're trying to satisfy infinite amount of sin, debt. Hell is debt as prison with a billion dollars. Does that make sense? No? Well, will you put it like that? Of course I put it like that. It doesn't make sense. No. Well, that's what you're doing. You're trying to pay a billion dollars worth of good works. Pay off an infinite sin debt. No, I'm not. You signed it on the front. You said, yeah. You signed it by saying, yeah, I can go on have on my own. And you endorsed it. Good job. God's going to say, no. He's not sending you to hell. You go to hell by default. You'll say into the lake of fire, though. Is it sinking in? What's the third one? The third one, I believe, is the most common one. Self-righteous, yeah, there's a lot of people going self-righteous, but this is the third one. This is what heart, God grieves. God is sad. It hurts. It hurts for me. I feel the pain. They do believe in Jesus Christ, but in the mind. They say all the good things. They honor me with their lips, 
but their heart they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. At the mind of Christ, I'm going to church, able to spit Bible Bible verses on command. But I don't I don't I didn't give him my heart. I gave him my mind, but not my heart. Okay. Third check. You'll come in, Jesus Christ will be you'll be at the gate. Mm. You got the third check. This is after you burn in hell. This is the judgment seat of Christ, by the way. Yeah, New Jerusalem at the top. Infinite. Yeah. It looks like it's genuine, but one more thing. Oh. The uh, signature. Is it in blood? Yeah, it's in blood. Whose blood, though? Yeah, it's me. Is this my signature, though? This is what Jesus Christ is saying to this unsaved person. Yeah, it is my signature, because I know. I know what I wrote. Let's turn it around. It is, God does not... You know, my God, God does not rejoice in people who went to hell because we're part of them. Remember, he blew a breath, made man a living soul. God does not enjoy sending people to hell. It grieves him. It grieves me. I mean, as well, I feel what he feels. You didn't endorse the check. You didn't listen to his video. You threw away his gospel tract. You didn't listen to the. You didn't listen to my disciple who's evangelizing you. You didn't endorse the check. You died in your sins. You was burning in hell. I gotta catch you in the lake of fire. Which one are you? I got my check. It's endorsed. New Jerusalem, one, paid to the order of infinite sin debt, in infinite sin debt, signed by the blood, blood by his blood. He signed his name in blood. There you go. Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. There you go. It's not complete yet. Can't cash check unless you endorse it. I endorsed it on February 8, 2015, when he pricked my heart, gave me the gift of repentance, and then gave me the faith to believe. You're sealed to the day of redemption. How bad can you sin? Real bad. Don't tell me I can't sin real bad. Then explain sin unto death. The blood washes me. Think of his Jesus Christ's blood as a shower. Damn, I'm dirty. Let's take a shower. Jesus' blood. Spiritual bath. All clean. He doesn't save you. He keeps saving you. He's maintaining your salvation. So you don't have to maintain it. You don't have to justify it. You can't earn it. It's infinite. Which check do you have? Thanks for putting that on me, Lord. That's really good. Well, are you going to deny? How does a check work? The same with that. I keep saying that. God will, God will tell me at the end. How does a check work? Don't tell me you don't know how the check works. How does a check work? Oh, well, easy. Really easy. Then think about it and apply it biblically then. You have funds. And a check. What are the funds? Your righteousness. Better be sure it's yours. Well, it is mine. Well, make sure it's of the spirit of Jesus Christ, not of your own. I told you this money's fake. Dollar bills are fake. So, yeah, that's another good way of looking at it. Think of it like this. Here's the reason why I'm going to heaven, you're going to hell. Remember, I love you. That's how I say you're going to hell. In my bank account, why do you keep using commerce and well, God said pay for your sins, so he wants me to talk it like this. He chose that word pay for a reason. Uh, in my bank account is Jesus Christ's righteousness. That means you're saved. No, it doesn't. That means I have to write out a check because he's going to want it in the New Jerusalem. Okay, New Jerusalem. Did I accept him? Not yet. Is it his? Do I know I'm a sinner? I'm wretched? Yep. Yeah. How do I know that? Because his name's written in blood. Did I accept him? Yep. Yeah. February 8, 2015. It's his funds. It's his righteousness, not mine's. How do you cash a check? You gotta write it on the back. Endorse. Endorsed. Manuel Fernandez. You're saying self-righteousness. Remember, I told you there's no such thing as money. It's fake. It's fiat currency. Think of fiat currency as your works in the flesh. That's what, that's what they're similar. Funny, how are the works in the flesh and our money system are the same? How are they the same? Well, they're fake. They're real because we think it's real and we think it's enough. We think it's money when it's really not. But the, the devil makes you think the works in the flesh is like the money, your dollar bills, when they're not. They're fake. They're fake righteousness. They're fiat righteousness, like fiat currency. 
They're the same. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to heaven. Look at all these works. A billion. No, yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Don't tell me it's not enough. Me signing myself. Make a check to myself. That's what you're doing to get to Jesus. You're making a check to yourself, written out to yourself, from yourself to Jesus. That's what you're doing. And I endorse it. Jesus Christ says, you did this on your own, though. Your flesh, you can't please me in your flesh. In your flesh dwells no good thing. Not enough. I endorsed it. I endorsed it. Who cares? It's not in your own. Off the hell. Okay, this is an authentic check. You didn't endorse it. It's authentic. Yeah, it's my righteousness. You, you said you were a sinner, but you didn't accept me, though. You know you were wretched. You can't go to heaven on your own, but you got to accept me. You accepted a lot instead. The devil. You accepted the, the Roman God, Jesus Christ. That's why I say, say, Yeshua HaMashiach, because that's the Roman God's name, Jesus Christ. Be careful, discernment. If I'm talking to a Jew, I won't say Jesus Christ. I'll say Yeshua HaMashiach. Nah, that's, that's not me. Read your Bible. Well, Jesus Christ. No, that's not me. That's that's the Roman God, Horus, Jesus Christ. Signature in blood. That's the wrong Jesus Christ. Well, Allah, no. Oh, Jesus of Mormonism. No, that's a God. Oh, you think I'm I'm a friend with the devil? He's not my brother. That's what your religion believes? No, I'm not Krishna, Kali. No. Which Jesus Christ? The Jesus Christ of the Bible. King James Bible app. That Jesus Christ. Call me whatever you want. Call me Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ of the Bible, you can call him whatever you want. Jesus Christ, I like calling him Yeshua HaMashiach. It sounds cool. Yeshua HaMashiach. That's it. No, it isn't. My name is Emmanuel Fernandez. That's my government name. My, my name is Manu. My, you think my, my mother can't speak English, barely. She speaks Portuguese English. Imagine her trying to say my, my, Emmanuel Fernandez. She calls me Manu. My father can call me either one. He speaks English, but he calls me Manu. My cousins call me Manu. They don't call me Emmanuel. Anyone that calls me Emmanuel is not of me. It's a stranger, so I don't know. Everyone calls me Manu. You think I apply to a job? Interview? Okay, Manu. How do you know my name's Manu? Yeah, they call me Manny. Manu, that's my name. Only the people that really know me. Is it sinking in? Yeshua Amashi is his name. Manu. Now you know because I told you. Now do you know that I told you? He's playing word magic, word play. Yeah, you can think of it like that. It's magic of God, not of the devil. Holy Ghost. Yeah, I'm fine with people call him Yeshua, Yahamashiach. Okay? If he had a birth certificate when he was born, that's what is on his birth certificate. What is it, Jesus Christ? Okay? Well, if I evangelize to a Jew, he'll say, Jesus Christ? No, he just said his name is vain, by the way. He sinned. That's the Jesus Christ that, that uh, inquisitioned my family, that killed me under that name, the Roman Catholic Jesus Christ. No, 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 I didn't mean, I'm sorry. Yeshua HaMashiach, okay. Careful how to you use your words. Your words have meaning. Don't tell me I can't call him Yeshua HaMashiach. Don't tell me that. Joshua. Uh, I don't know how you spell it. All I know, that's his Jewish name. Think of Jesus Christ as his government name. That's like, I, my government name is Emmanuel Fernandez. Well, it's not Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. As long as you keep him in the heart. Call him Jesus Christ and Yeshua HaMashiach. Make sure when you say Jesus Christ, it's Jesus Christ of the Bible. That's what I'm saying. I prefer Yeshua HaMashiach. Because I intimately know him. Being, knowing Christ is intimately knowing him. Intimately. You know what intimate means? Like you're intimate with your wife in bed. You're the bride of Christ. Blessed hope. He's the bridegroom. I'm the bride of Christ. I don't you supposed to intimately know your husband? If you don't, you know him when you have sex with him in the marriage bed. You say you have sex with Christ. I'm just using it as a term. That's intimacy. Sexual intimacy. He's coming for his bride. He's the bridegroom. The fact that I know his name is Yeshua HaMashiach, that means I know him intimately. That doesn't mean you're not saved. I just know him better than you because I yield to his word. No one will ever know him better. You know who knows him pretty good? Well, the Holy Ghost knows him pretty good because the Holy Ghost is in him. And God the Father knows pretty good because he, him, him and the Father are one. <laughs> so, yeah, my sinful flesh is saying, let's go eat now and do a thing out of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done my Father. Father, let's say a prayer. Let's end this with a prayer. Father, I hope I uh, please you in this video. I say the things I want to say. Hope you evangelize someone. 
it gets them to an unsaved person. Or a saved person, because this is for whoever wants to hear it. Father, that's what it is for. Hope they edify and build on this. In Jesus' name, amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Amen. I come in peace, but when I speak, it's meant for war. Peace. I won't say the peace sign because that's satanic. I'll get to that later.